Hey guys, this is Mark, and it's a cloudy day here in Southern Maine. Cloudy, a little bit Eeyore feeling. So I thought I'd talk to you about a minor scale flute. Minor scale flutes are among my favorite. In fact, the majority of the flutes that I make and sell and if I, are minor scale. And if I have to choose a flute just to go somewhere for a walk in the woods or in the backyard and just play for my own benefit, it's going to be a minor scale flute. Now I make minor pentatonic scales similar to a Native American style scale. I use a uh, something I call in our Renaissance flute, which is a harmonic minor scale, which raises the sixth note of the scale a half a step, uh, as opposed to the natural minor scale. But then I also have flutes like this one here that is in a natural minor. This happens to be in the key of E, which of all the natural minor scales, I love E minor the most. This scale is beautiful. It is responsive. Though it is minor, it can be sad sounding and contemplative. It can also be very bright. It just depends upon how you want to play it. But this is uh, one of two in green that we currently have, but I make these in all different kinds of colors. Uh, it's got some decorative binding down here on the bottom, and this is solid green, um, solid green PVC. The embouchure of this flute is a uh, 3 8 inch embouchure, round, as most of my 3 quarter inch flutes are, and cut on an angle. Uh, to try to eliminate some of the breathiness, and I think very, I think it does that very, very well. I also place a PVC wedge in the head part of the flute here, which helps it not to go flat. Um, cylindrical bores um, tend to go flat in the upper, the higher up you go, especially into the second octave. Um, real, tra not real, traditionally and professionally made uh, Irish flutes have a conical bore not a cylindrical bore. So by placing a wedge in the head of this flute, it turns this head joint here into a cylinder essentially and enables it to stay um, fairly well, very well I think, in, uh, in tune. So why the minor scale? First let me play the scale for you, this E minor scale. Why the minor scale? Well, one, because why not, right? I mean, it's just a beautiful scale. You can the, the beauty of the PVC flutes is that they're inexpensive enough that you can get multiple flutes. You can have flutes if you want to play a song, or you can just get flutes that are designed simply to allow you to express yourself, which to me, minor scale flutes are great for that. Um, you may be able to uh, play some songs if you know a lot of songs in a minor a key. You could certainly do that. You could jam along. I don't know very many people that are using a G minor backing track to jam along with, but I guess you could do that. But where I think this flute shines, and this scale in particular, is when you are just wanting, at the end of a long day, to have an instrument that you can play and express your soul. I think that is music is a powerful way to de-stress at the end of a day. I'd like to say it's scientifically proven, but I'm not a scientist. But there are certainly a lot of uh, studies out there that will attest to the power of music to help others deal with stress and to deal with it yourself. Um, so this, type of, this flute here, I generally use for uh, improvisation. Improvisation? Improvisation. I like to use it to make up my own songs. And... Uh, I want to encourage you to do that too. Get a minor scale flute. Doesn't have to be one of mine. Could be somebody else's. That's fine. Or make one yourself. But play the minor scale. The minor scale is the scale of the soul, I think. Let me play a little bit for you.
well, I made a couple of mistakes there, but I was improvising anyway. I just enjoy it. Man, when I play, I just feel so much better afterwards. Whether I'm just playing up and down the scale or whether I'm playing slowly, um, I, I love it. Now, how do I improvise on a minor scale? Sometimes I get asked this, and I'm not the expert at it. You can find dozens of people on YouTube that can play flutes, even PVC flutes, better than me and better than you, but that's okay. What's important is that you are getting joy and benefit out of it. And if you're lucky, you can bring some joy and benefit to other people, and that makes it worth it. Forget all this, I play better than you, or you're not professional, uh, or you're not classically trained, or whatever. I have some classical music training. I have customers who are classically musical, musically trained, and I think that's awesome. But if you have never had a music class, you can learn to play an instrument and bring joy to yourself and those around you. So how do I improvise with this? I start by just playing up and down the scale. Then I start, then I'll just kind of go down and up and down and up and alternate in between, so not directly up and down the scale, but I'll go down then take a step up and two steps down and so on, something like this. You'd be surprised at the song that you begin to feel inside of you that'll just start to come out. And as you're improvising, you'll, you, your, your brain will start, well, I shouldn't promise you, but at least with mine, my brain starts to pick up on musical phrases and starts to weave them together. That song I played there at the beginning, the one that starts like this. That came about from doing what I'm just showing you. Just simply playing up and down the scale until the music that was inside and the music that was in this flute, not this flute, but that flute that I was playing at that time, started to come out. So I'll go up and down the scale. Then I'll start going, instead of just one finger at a time, I'll start using two fingers or three fingers, uh, jump, excuse me, jumping around the scale just a little bit. And then again, putting those, putting those things together. Improv and playing what you feel is not about getting the notes right. It's about playing what you feel. If it brings you joy and it brings you comfort, then that's a win. Now, be careful if you're doing it with your, the rest of your family around the house. They might not be en enjoying it. But take the flute out into the woods with you. Take it out into the backyard. Sit in your living room. Go down to your basement, uh, wherever you need. Hey, if it's, if it's small enough, which this one is, you could play it as you're sitting in your car at lunch break at work. If you've had a difficult first part of the day, go play the flute on your lunch break. When I am stressed, I go for music. And the flute is one of the first things I grab, and a minor scale is one of the first things I play. This is the E minor, E natural minor flute. It might be just for what you need. If not, find something that is. And if I can help you in any way, let me know. Have a great day, guys.